Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss unit 4 of software engineering that is software testing. We are going to discuss some important questions which will be helpful for the MCQ questions as well. So question number 1, what is software testing? Discuss objective, objective of it. So software testing is the process of executing a program with intentions of finding error in the code. So testing is basically error finding. And what are the objectives? Objectives are software quality improvement, verification and validation, software reliability estimation. Software quality improvement means enhancing the quality of a software product. Verification and validation means verifying and uh, uh, validating it according to the requirements. And software reliability estimation means uh, for how long software is reliable or helpful or useful, manageable. These all things. Now question number two, what are the principles of software testing? All tests should be traceable to customer requirements. Avoid redundant tests. It is impossible to test everything. Use effective resources to test. Tests should be planned long before testing begins. So these are some principles of the software testing. Question number three. Now from question number three, we are going to discuss about each and every type of the testing in our syllabus. So question number three, what is unit slash module testing? It is uh, so unit testing is the level of software testing where individual units or components of a software are tested. In the unit testing, we used to test the smallest unit of any software. It focuses on verification of smallest unit of software design, the software component or module. Okay, it is also called software component testing. Unit testing is also called software component testing. It is the lowest level of testing of an application. It is the lowest level of testing because here we test only unit, uh, only unit of any, any software, single unit. Unit testing is white box oriented. So we will discuss white box testing and why what is white box oriented uh, later in this video. Question number four: What is integration testing? So it is a phase in software testing where individual software modules are combined and tested as a group. It occurs after unit testing and before validation testing. In soft in integration testing, we combine two or more units to make a module, to uh, make a component, and then we test this component in integration testing. It comes after unit testing and it comes before validation testing. Question number five: What are the various software integration techniques? So, software very uh, various software integration techniques are top-down integration testing, bottom-up integration testing, Big Bang testing, sandwich integration testing. So, these are the four integration testings. Question number six: What is acceptance testing? Acceptance testing is a level of software testing where a system is tested for acceptability. So what is acceptability to determine whether or not software system has met requirement specification basically acceptance testing is the last stage of testing and it has two parts alpha testing and beta testing and acceptance testing is done by users only okay in this uh, in this phase of testing we check software has all the requirements according to the documents or does it satisfy uh, the need of the user or not or it has any bugs or anything so these bugs or these errors are find by the testers define state testing in this testing test cases are designed to execute the system in such a way that abnormal condition arises i triple e defines stress testing as testing conducted to evaluate a system or component at or beyond the limit of its specified requirement in stress testing, uh, we test a system beyond its limit to know the flaws or to know the variations which may come when uh, it is uh, when it is used beyond its limitations. What is security testing? Security testing is a type of software testing that intends to uncover vulnerabilities of system and determine that its data and resources are protected from possible intruders. It is a type of non-functional testing. In security testing, we try to uh, hit those spaces of a software we try to exploit those places which are vulnerable okay which may cause some data harm or software harm to protect a system from the possible intruders in the future question number nine what is meant by system testing so at this level 
the entire software system is tested okay the and just like in unit testing we test only a single unit in system testing the entire software system is tested this technique involves testing of a product by verifying it's working with the original requirements and specification documents following types of testing are used at this stage functional testing and performance testing there are two types of testing which are used at the stage of system testing first is functional testing the other is performance testing functional testing concerned with functionality rather than implementation it is often called black box testing functional testing is also called black box testing and what is performance testing it deals with quality related issues like security test reliability test etc now question number 10 what is regression testing this testing is defined as a type of software testing to confirm that a recent program or code change had not adversely affect existing features now there are the times when we need to change our code or we need to upgrade our code so the code change does not affect the existing program that is uh, being tested in regression testing phase okay then we have uh, two topics like drivers and steps so in in context of integration testing and in context of unit testing so here i have described uh, drivers and steps in context of integration testing the drivers are used during bottom up integration testing in order to simulate the behavior of upper level modules that are not easily integrated so drivers ko basically hum log use karte hain is tarah se behavior ko kisi cheez se behavior ko represent karne ke liye aur yahan pe kis cheez se behavior ko represent karta hai upper level modules ko jo abhi tak integrate nahi hue hain theek hai and steps are used during the top down integration and uh, driver ko hum log use karte hain bottom up integration mein steps ko hum log use karte hain top down integration mein so steps are used during the top down integration in order to simulate the behavior of lower level modules that are not yet integrated now the most important topic describe what white box test uh, testing it is a software testing technique in which internal structure design and coding of software are tested to verify the flow of input output and to improve design usability and security in white box testing the code is visible to the testers it is also called glass box testing clear box testing structural testing code based testing or logic based testing so basically white box testing mein uh, we can also check the code we can uh, we can check the flow of program we can see the inputs and outputs we can create test cases we can improve design we can uh, see the security features we can see everything in white box testing how do we perform white box testing we understand the source code and create test cases and execute it is simple because the code is visible to the user in white box testing it is also called glass box testing glass box means it is everything inside it is visible uh there are some white box testing techniques which are mentioned here like statement coverage decision coverage condition coverage multiple condition coverage path coverage control flow coverage data flow coverage okay now what is black box testing so just like it is opposite to white box testing in white box the code is visible to the user in black box code is not visible to the user in black box testing the tester do not know the internal structure of the module he only test for input output behavior the black box testing is also known by the name of functional testing exterior testing specification testing data driven testing input output driven testing okay so some black box techniques evaluation now question number 15 what do you understand by test data shape preparation so test shape preparation involves the construction of uh, construction and allocation of test cases in some systematic way based on specific testing techniques used so test case uh, test shape preparation is basically uh, construction and allocation of test cases means creating test cases um, with some properties with some values or that thing question number 16 what are criteria for designing test case functionality based uh, test case design fast partition based test case design structure based test case design now explain alpha and beta testing so alpha and beta testing are the part of acceptance testing in which alpha testing so alpha testing is a type of acceptance testing performed to identify all possible issues bugs before releasing the product to everyday users or public so in alpha testing the bugs are test before releasing the product to the public the focus of this test and technique is to simulate real users by using black box and white white box testing 
and uh, alpha testing is carried out in lab environment so beta testing is same uh, like uh, beta version which is which is released before the final product so it is a procedure of subjecting software to test by real clients and real surrounding before its release beta version of a software is released to a limited number of end users to obtain feedback on product quality it is a final testing before shipping a product to customer what is debugging discuss various debugging approaches debugging is the process of identifying and resolving errors in program code debugging means simply identifying the errors and resolving in the code debugging approaches brute force method backtracking cause elimination method question number 18 what is software review software review is an effective way of filtering errors in a software product some of the most common software review techniques are inspection walk through formal technical review code review and peer program in which walk through and formal technical review are most important what is formal technical review so formal technical review is the software quality assurance activity performed by software engineers so formal technical review is basically a review method in which there is a meeting which is held formally and the members of the meetings provide a review on any software or any product and this is formally held the objectives of ftr are to uncover error in function logic or implementation for representation of software to verify software under review meets its requirement to make project more manageable these are some objectives of formal technical review now what is walk through walk through is also a review but it is informal in nature it is an activity in which author describes and explain the work product in an informal meeting to his peers or supervisors to get feedback so in walk through uh, the author of the product tells his friends or its his colleagues about the product and gets a feed and receives a feedbacks from feedback from them okay so it is informal in nature now last question what is code inspection so code inspection is a process of examining the code of a program for identification of certain errors which are not identifiable by code walk through so code inspection is basically examining the code or rechecking the code to get some possible errors which could which are not identifiable during the formal or informal reviews okay so that was all about unit number 4 thank you